I guess just any any thoughts on how things have kind of been going from the end of spring um, up until now? Well, pretty good outcome. A lot of players have been back. This is the biggest biggest outcome we ever had. It's about 80 guys there, and nobody's on scholarship for the summer, so that says a lot. Yeah, like the, like we got a new come, incoming freshmen right now that's working, which is a difference because we didn't have that many last year. So with the freshmen coming and working, it shows that they want it more and they want to be a part of our program and help us win and start a new tradition right now, like what we're trying to do. So it's just on all progress right now. Yeah, and what has that been like to kind of be here with um, no scholarships available? I mean, you guys have to pay your own housing and whatever else. I mean, what has that been like to, to kind of have to balance that? Well, of course it's hectic because most guys, they have to go to work from about 10 to 2, then come the way to on top of that, we got running in the morning. So it's very, very hard. I mean, I'm one of the few who don't really have to work. I think he doesn't have to work either. So it's easier for us, but to not have a scholarship and be here is saying a lot. And a lot of guys are working on top of coming to weights, coming to running, you know? So it says a lot about our program. It shows how bad they want it, you know, to be successful with the program. They're sacrificing a lot right now, being out here when they can be home doing something else and getting more money and stuff. They're sacrificing being out here with the team and working and trying to become better as a program and as a unit. So like he said, it shows a lot in the uh, progress that we're trying to move forward. So the progression and all that. Does, that. does that make you guys like more accountable and want to, you get up for a run in the morning, you don't feel like it, you know that your other guy's in it, so you kind of have more ownership of the team? I mean, yeah, I would say that because knowing that the whole team is out there, it pushes us more <laughs> to know that we're not the only person struggling. You know what I mean? Like. Everybody's struggling. On top of that, there's some guys who have to go to work and then come back or after, go do that. So you know at the end of it, exactly, it's not one excuse. Everybody's making it to everything. It's crazy how much of a turnaround it's been from last year Nobody's to previous. Nobody's complaining and everybody's just going to work and doing what they have to do to get the job done because they know, like I said before, this is trying to, we're trying to build from here on out so they know what it takes regardless of how many sacrifices we have to make. So it's just part of the process. How does that make you feel about the other guys on the team? Meaning? Like with them working and stuff like that. Everybody wanted to make that kind of sacrifice. Oh, great! I mean, it, it's that's what a winning program is. Well, trying to build that tradition. Everybody trying to sacrifice. If you look at any other winning tradition, they're out there with their team, sacrificing what they have to do to, like, uh, build that tradition. It's